Hello, this is Michael from VR Game Truck, Nebraska. Thank you once again for tuning into my YouTube channel. I'm going to do a PSVR review on the fly of Hello Neighbor. It dropped in price, so I thought I'd try it and see if it would have any value to the game truck if kids would like it because of the Hello Neighbor thing. But uh, I think they really dropped the ball on this. First of all, I started a new game, and just getting started is awkward. You're put in this room here. You can kind of look around and stuff. There's a coin there. I don't know what that does, but we'll pick it up. It looks shiny. Or try to. Okay, and then... Um, other stuff. Okay, I'll look at the closet here. There's a crowbar, I guess. So we'll use this crowbar to get this off. And there's no directions. It's not like telling you... I mean, to start out, it, it should give you some idea. And I think it'd be... This thing would be well done by more levels that broke up with more of a story to it. Given what it is, you know? Just the way it is. Uh, there we go. Okay, so this... Probably the funnest part of the game right here is this. <laughs> Whee! So then you can run into the characters here and kind of learn some of the stuff that they have. You know? There's no explanations, but... Mess with their stuff. Because you'll be switching back and forth these characters to solve puzzles. And I'm not big on puzzles as it is, but if it's a, if it's a story driven puzzle, then I get more into it if there's a reason. But so you're locked in this backyard, and it's really not telling you anything about what to do to get out. You, you know, you notice there's a lock on the gate there, but it's not telling you anything. There's no voice dialogue, nothing to go on. I mean, you could go over here and play with the softball thing. You can hit the switch and it'll start pitching some softballs. Even the mechanics on this aren't the greatest. It's hard to hit the ball. I nicked it. So then, nothing to direct you, but if you look around a bunch, you know, you eventually can come up here. And if I remember right, there was a key around somewhere. What's. Yeah, you gotta press that. And then there's a key. You have no idea that that's what you're supposed to do to even get started in this thing. Okay. And then you'll go over. And then look, there's the neighbor's house and they've dug this weird contraption underneath it. Oh, whoop de doo, I guess. So, we're going to go under here. No, even story to light this up to say kind of what the heck is going on here, you know? See. Anyway, we could go down here and follow the girl. These kids don't even talk. At least I haven't heard anything lately, so that makes it even more boring. But we sneak around here. Look, there's that nutty girl. You missed some opportunity there. I know why can't some voice narration be there like, follow me. Or something to get you to interact more. It's just like, I guess, whatever, we're going this way. Oh, and we fall down. She's looking a little concerned. Oh, you're stuck down there. Oh, no. It's all right. I'll climb up. Oh. See, 
see, I already did a little bit of this first part just to see if this was something I could get into, and I'm just showing you the gameplay. It's not really... I don't like puzzle games to begin with unless there's a story in action or some reason behind doing the puzzles. Look, there's the guy. He can't see me. She's hidden. I'm out in the open, but... Hey, yeah, I'm over here. But you can't see me for some reason, but she's hiding. <laughs> oh. So now she's showing that, not even talking to you. You hit R2 to switch to her. Okay, then we go this way. We got this. We'll pull this to open, be able to go where he went. See, it doesn't even show my character out there, which is kind of silly. So we can keep going here. Looks like that's another area. Someone needs to pull a switch there to open this. Can I open this door? Okay, I think I need to switch back. This is a different guy who was hiding, or maybe it's the same one, but he's hiding in the closet. Okay, so I want to take him this way, probably. Flick this switch. So that she could get through. So now she could go through that door that's closed. Okay, I just gotta figure out where I was at. I think. I think this is where I came from. It won't let me open these. This isn't pulled down. So, well, if it'll let me, what the hell? Okay, I'm so confused. Why can't I pull that down? Or do I have to pull it up? Let's go back to that other switch. Maybe that was where I was supposed to be and I pull it up. I don't know. It's freaking confusing. Well, yeah, this one's going to let me pull it. Okay, that's where I needed to go. Okay. Oh, so now it looks like... Well, I got to go over here. All right. I just don't see kids having any patience enough to do this, at least my demographic. I mean... You have someone that really loves puzzle games and wants to, and loves this universe, maybe. Is it my cup of tea, though? Okay. Oh, so it looks like you climb up this. Oh, 
over a little bit. Okay. At first I tried to turn this when I was first here, but... Yes, go... <coughs> Excuse me. This way I will climb up. Okay. Now let's see. We got two ways to go. Well, let's go right to start with. I don't know if it leads me to anything. Okay, we need one of those, obviously. Okay, so let's go this way. Is that a dry on the wall or a fuse? Oh. Okay, so you crank this, I guess. Then we gotta switch back to the other guy. Okay. Uh, so I opened something for him to be able to walk across. Try to go this way, I guess. What the heck is this? I don't. That's already up. Well, let me climb that to go up. Nope, just a sliding pole. Uh, what's over here? Looks like some ropes. Okay. Climb some ropes, I guess. So I've had to do a lot and I haven't even run into the neighbor yet, you know. Most of my kids that come and use the game truck are not going to have the expand time, the, what's the word, the, um, be able to focus on this long enough, the tension span to even get this far. So this game is truly, if you want to do it, really for the people who love puzzle games. Okay. We'll grab this. Go up here. All right, where am I? Okay, we'll go down here. Okay, this was the thing she dropped for me to be able to go across. And then we have this. Okay. And that's the fuse. So now we go back to her. And we should be able to go grab that fuse. Um, if she's only cool when it gets a flashlight, I guess. Okay. Grab the fuse. This game is kind of growing on me, but you have to really, like, love puzzles. So definitely has to be older kid and really into this puzzle kind of stuff. Okay, I got my fuses. That opened that over there. So I could go take... Let's 
telling me to switch to that guy, so I'll do it. So I could slide down this and go to where it opened. Okay. So this is a new area that opened up. Oh, you could teleport. That's cool. Actually, this, did I go the wrong way? I must have went the wrong way. That must have been the door that opened that's new. So I go around this way. Yeah, this is new. I haven't been here yet. So we go here. And grab the ladder. Okay. Grab the other ladder. All right. Oh, do we finally get to his house? It's a miracle. a creepy dude. Obviously, if we just go to that room, something is not going to be good. So he's got to get up and look in there, obviously. I'm going to hide here. Okay, so that's how you get him out of there. Well, that's just weird. this this game's kind of growing on me but it's it's not anything that you need more than one copy of because you're going to have to really have a kid that likes puzzle games I don't think you're going to use it a lot at the game truck oh um, okay what do I do I'm confused I don't know what to do now
I don't see anything else to clean. Well, let me grab that. Okay. It let me get on top of that. Can I jump? Jump on top of the door here. Okay, then we'll jump on this. And then this is simple enough. <clears throat> I can see what to do here. We grab the ladder. Okay. Um. Whoa, weird. This is like a weird, weird space, man. <laughs> I don't know much about Hello Neighbor because I've never played the game kids are cra crazy about or whatever. Okay. Are you going to let me climb forward, man? I'll go underneath, maybe? There we go. Mechanics work better going underneath here. Okay. The hell is that? I tell you, this is weird. <laughs> Okay, we'll keep going here. The hell? Where'd I go? Let's try to crouch. Look at that. This is weird. Ah, uh, he caught me, I guess. Well, that's more interesting than I thought. Now they're discussing what they're going to do. Well, anyway, the ratings on this, I'm going to end the video here. It's a good place. You just see it's going to be more puzzle-like. Probably explore more of that house and stuff. So you got to be heavily into puzzle games. But um, it kind of grows on me uh, that I like to like explore a little bit more myself and see more about the game. But um, for um, family friendliness, I give it an 8. There's some scary aspects to it, I guess, a little bit, but you gotta really have older kids to play this because there's no way younger kids are gonna be able to play this and like move around. It's not just a simple like run around hide and seek game. You gotta really freaking use your brain. And the puzzles aren't that hard, but you gotta have someone that's at least got into the abstract thought development of their brain to be able to, you know, play this. So
I think to have one copy of this of the game truck is probably a good idea. Uh, especially at the price it is now. I wouldn't pay more than this, but 17 bucks, Probably a good deal for it right now. It's actually growing up. Yeah, I was hesitant to get into this because I saw some bad reviews for it first. But I didn't notice anything too bad with mechanics. We'll see if that uh, <coughs> gets worse as it goes. Uh, I was able to move through things okay. And $17 thought... It's kind of interesting. It's not, you know, for... So I think it's worth it for that price. Uh, general FUD. This is a great... You know, we're talking about all age ranges here. So you're just going to go straight in the middle of five. Because little kids aren't going to have very much fun with this. It's more for... So the abstract made... The ones that are going to have most fun is like puzzles. And if they're kind of like me that can appreciate stuff in VR that looks good. Uh, it's interesting. They might get into this and want to play it. So it kind of, I think I'll dive into it more when I have some time. Anyway, thank you very much for watching my video. You guys have a great day.